Edutainment Studios welcomes you to Parkinson's Disease, Understanding It. This module is part five in a five-part series on Parkinson's disease. Parkinson's disease, or PD, can be challenging to live with due to the fact that it causes progressive changes to the body's motor function skills, as well as many other non-motor areas, which can include bouts of depression, sleeping problems, pain, and cognitive dysfunction. This disease greatly impacts the quality of life in both yourself as well as your caregiver. Although a lot of factors of Parkinson's disease are uncontrollable, actively pursuing all of the treatment options that are available can provide you with a sense of control and help you live your life to the fullest. In this course, the objective is to help you list the different stages of Parkinson's disease. Parkinson's disease is a progressive disease that worsens over time. It is a highly individualized disease and affects each person differently. Everyone will not all experience the same symptoms or have symptoms at the same severity. Physicians have established five stages that help to describe how the disease progresses, even though the progression is also different for everyone. These stages are known as the Hone and Yar scale and are widely used by physicians throughout the world to help classify their patients. Stage 1 is the initial stage of Parkinson's disease, where the symptoms are mild and only present on one side of the body. The symptoms in this stage do not usually interfere with daily activities and are generally mild enough to not need medical attention. If you decide to consult with a doctor at this stage, they may be unable to make a diagnosis. Symptoms at stage 1 may include tremors or rigidity. Stage 2 of PD is still considered to be early onset of the disease. Stage 2 may develop months or even years after stage 1. At this stage, you are still able to perform daily tasks fairly well. However, the symptoms are starting to get worse. Both sides of your body are now being affected, making it difficult for you to walk, and poor posture is becoming more apparent. Stage 3 of Parkinson's disease is considered to be mid-stage. Balance is weakened as it is becoming more difficult to react quickly and involuntarily to prevent falling. Other symptoms are also present at this stage. An important identifying factor of stage 3 is that you are still fully independent in your daily living activities, but significantly impaired by the symptoms. In stage 4 of Parkinson's disease, you are no longer able to live an independent life and require assistance to do some of your daily activities. It is the necessity of assistance that defines this stage of the disease. At this stage, you have become severely disabled. Although you may be able to walk and stand unassisted, your body is noticeably impaired. The most advanced stage of this disease is stage 5. This stage is identified by your inability to stand or walk without assistance. Around-the-clock aid is required at this stage of the disease to help reduce any risk of falling and help you with all of your daily activities. Some people never reach stage 5, and the amount of time it takes to progress through the different stages varies from person to person. There are treatments available that can help at every stage of this disease. Yet, the earlier the diagnosis and the earlier the stage when diagnosed, the more effective the treatment will be at alleviating symptoms. Please feel free to investigate these sites and others for more information, and remember to bring any concerns or questions in to discuss with your doctor. Thank you for joining us today on our series on Parkinson's disease. 